Hey folks, Adam here, and today we're looking at this Power XL air fryer grill. My air fried slice of leftover gas station pizza just finished up. I like it crispy, so let's take a look. Wow, that looks perfect. Look how crispy that is. That was a soggy piece of pizza that had been sitting in the fridge for a couple days, and now it looks fresh and new and freaking delicious. So let me go ahead and grab a plate for it, and we're going to tell you all about this fantastic air fryer so what's so great about the air fryer now first off the fact that you can grill you can cook you can make anything you want in it is absolutely amazing it's also a bit of a work of art don't you think it's absolutely beautiful now um the timer button to turn it on pretty easy you want to cook something for 20 minutes just move it accordingly okay um, you also have temperature control, very easy and straightforward right here. You want to switch 450 degrees, 400 degrees, whatever you may want. Move that a little closer so you can see it as we go through the dials. So really fantastic temperature control. We also have um, different options like air fry, air fry and grill, grill, broil, just the top, and you heard the air circulation turn off on broil, just bake, pizza, toast a bagel, and reheat functions. Now, I, I like the air fry for a lot of stuff, I will admit, but this is a really beautiful, beautiful grill, and um, air fryer grill, and I'm gonna make sure you get a chance to check it out, because if you're watching this video, you're probably considering purchasing it, and you wanna see this thing as close and personal as possible. Now, we're going to stick around and have the um, unboxing portion of this video coming up. You're gonna like that. But look at this, kinda had it in a little bit upside down. Let me go ahead and turn this off. But yeah, you've got the grilling option where you can grill right in your air fryer as well. Just put this here to collect all the juices and things of the sort. Boom, right there. Got the basket for doing your air frying. And just so many options, this is an absolutely fantastic thing. You can cook an entire chicken in here. You can air fry your french fries in this basket. You can pretty much do anything you want. And the thing about air fryers, if you don't have an air fryer yet, is that the warm up time is pretty much gone, okay? You can put your item in, you can put your slice of pizza, turn it on, and in three or four minutes, your pizza's ready. It's not like the microwave where it comes out soggy, and it's not like the conventional oven that takes 10 minutes to warm up. Plus, like I said, this thing is a bit of a work of art. I left a little tape on here. I still need to take the tape off from the packaging, which you'll see in the unbox portion of the video. <clears throat> and, like I said, in three or four minutes, you can make something crisp and delicious um, versus soggy and disgusting from the microwave. So you have a two toast bagel, a three air fryer, you got the different levels where you should put things. The grill and the fry grill, absolutely amazing. You can cook a hamburger on here. Just put it on the grill, cook her down. That's fantastic. You can, um, and I guess technically the grill level should be right here. And it does tell you the guides where your griller should be, where your baking pizza, where you're air frying, where you're toasting a bagel, where you're broiling, essentially where you put things when you're doing it, okay? But as any good chef knows, you kind of wing it, you try different things, you see what works for you. You know, if I like my pizza a little crispier, if I like, if I want to broil something a little different, you just adjust accordingly. But really, really a fantastic looking device. Um, great, great opportunity here. And this is going to be an accent piece in your kitchen. So I'm a big fan. I think you're gonna love it. You can see it's sturdy and stable and easy to use. I want to reheat, put it to the reheat. You got a little toast option, change the temperature, whatever you need to do. It's absolutely amazing. Temperature is in Fahrenheit and it's just a nice device. Plugs in, long cable, you're gonna dig it. All right, folks, stick around. We're gonna have the unboxing 
next. Hope you enjoyed the video. Adios, amigos. Now for the unboxing. All right, folks, now it's time for the unboxing. She called it the fun boxing because this is the fun part of the video. A lot of people love to see what it looks like when they open a product for themselves. And I am one of those folks. I'll try not to hit the camera too often in this video. Attention, there are accessories on the top and bottom of the foam. Make sure to get them all out. Well, smart. All right, I like that note. Thank you. XL Power XL Air Fryer Grill. Like this. Make sure to get that out. Oh man, styrofoam and boxes. Bane of my existence. So many boxes around this house because we're always buying stuff to do product videos for. Alright. So it looks like this bad boy just sits right in here. How oh, we're gonna get it out, nobody knows. But, oh, thankfully there's a little handle. I swear one of these is going to break the glass on this table. Alright, so, well, what a pretty little product we have here. And it is um, taped up for safekeeping. Nice. Um, apparently you want to take out all the packing material before you turn around. A nice device, hey? Eh? All right, there's the air fryer window. And I guess this maybe goes in the bottom somewhere. A lot of times during the unboxing, I don't know everything about the product, obviously. So I'm going to have to do a little research, find out more about it. So you get an idea of what this thing should look like. Okay, turn that light to get that glare off of it. And a couple pieces of tape here I probably should remove to where it will still look good for the video. All right, thanks for watching. Adios, amigos.